Hi, I'm Amelia Bordeaux, founder of Market Compass, and I'm back here at The Money Show. I'm with Bambi Francesco Roizen. Um, she is an entrepreneur, investor, and writer, and she is the founder and CEO of Vader. Thank you for joining us, Bambi. Thanks, Amelia. Thank you, thank you and The Money Show for having me. <laughs> we were on the Women on Wealth panel yesterday, which was really exciting, but I wanted to learn more about Vader and what you do there. So Vader is, um, we call it an awesome community for entrepreneurs and investors, and, and really we're just, uh, we sit at the intersection of media and finance, so we create a lot of commentary and thought leadership around innovation, specifically technology, and more specifically, digital health. Um, we also host small salons and gatherings, and then we have an investment club as well as a fund called the Invent Health Fund, where we can invest in some of these um, companies that we're learning about in the startup area. And what is new on the front of digital health trends? What are you looking at now in that oh my, space? Oh my, there's so much new in digital health. It is such a fascinating industry mm -hmm. to watch, but it's just polarizing too. I just finished um, a segment here and I had people actually arguing about whether medications are good and whether these digital therapeutics that are emerging are going to be better. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, there's just, I've never seen that before that people are really passionate about it. I know I am. But I just wanted to stop you there. What are digital therapeutics? What do you mean by that? So digital therapeutics, so think about like, we live in a world today, you, you're familiar with Amazon, you're familiar with Facebook, you're right. familiar with Google, and they have all this information about you, right? That's why yeah. you can find your friends that you went to school with. That's why you can find a product that Amazon recommends to you. That's mm -hmm. why with Google, they also know a lot about how you're searching. And so there's a lot of two-way information. There's information that you're bringing in to them, and, they, and they're able to advertise better to you. Right. So with digital therapeutics, it's more about the information and the data you're giving to new companies. Like okay. with Apple, I'm giving Apple my physiological data, right? What my right. EKG is. Mm -hmm. um, with some other companies, increasingly, like if you're talking to Alexa, mm -hmm. Amazon's Alexa, you could say, "Have a, you know, I have a cough, and you know, I'm feeling cold, and and or I have a cold, and Alexa or Amazon can offer up some cough medicine." And oh, so there's all these new data okay. that's emerging about yourself, and digital therapeutics is really kind of using that data to, to kind of better understand you mm -hmm. and better target you. Now I can go into the details of specifics of what they are, but okay, maybe. Are there any <laughs> privacy concerns with the, the health data? I think when a certain, I think I remember a certain Apple Watch came out, the government said something that couldn't be real time, like record you because they were worried about some of the the hacker whatever. Oh might yeah, there's that. tons of that. There's yeah. tons of privacy around your, med, you know, and that and that's a big challenge. Yeah, and obviously that that's what has to what we have to overcome. But I think people are willing to give up some of that data if they can get better personalized care. So some of the digital therapeutics really are coming around. Essentially, digital therapeutics is think of software and okay. software as a drug. That's kind of a new terminology now that's emerging in the last couple of years. And so it's really around changing your behavior around something, let's just say adhering to medication. So, or adhering to, mm -hmm. or changing the way you think about things. And so right. a lot of what medication does is actually change the biology in your body, changes, you know, sort of, it stimulates neurons in your right. in your brain, and there's a lot of new things right now that are using just your own waking up things inside yourself, mm -hmm. using software to make you more aware of those things that actually yeah. change your behavior. So it's replacing um, other modalities like prescription drugs. That's great. This is such a fascinating topic, and it's so in depth. We're going to come right back with Bambi, and we're going to hear more about this.